This is Expedition Rodopi. Our expedition has brought us to Devil's Bridge. This bridge is famous for its superstition and amazing architecture. The locals are extremely superstitious about crossing this bridge, particularly after dark, when a number of unnatural incidents have supposedly happened. This was built as a trade route connecting northern Bulgaria with the Greek Aegean Sea in 1518 by the Ottomans. And as you can see, it is still very much standing today. Continuing west from Devil's Bridge, we enter the Eastern Rhodopes and encounter very different wildlife. A sign that we are edging closer to the rewilding region. Today we arrived at the Stuncladnets Dam, which is the third largest in Bulgaria, and it's one of three dams on the Arda River. The one upstream of us we've already seen at Kardzali, and the one downstream of us is Avelivgrad, which we'll see uh, in a week's time at the end of the expedition where the Rhodopes actually finish. There are so many dams all over the Rhodopes because it's such a great way to harness energy, but they do dramatically change the landscape here to the detriment of many species, unfortunately. Having said that, we did our uh, raptor survey here this morning, actually on the dam, and we saw a whole host of um, rare and endangered birds from the griffin vulture and the Egyptian vulture, which um, are extremely rare and actually have been recently reintroduced here. Despite these dams having such a huge impact on the environment, it's clear that many of the species here, particularly the raptors, can still survive. Uh, this region has managed to hold on to its reputation as being one of the most biodiverse regions in all of Europe in terms of raptor species. Amazingly, we've also just seen an Egyptian vulture and a juvenile Egyptian vulture um, actually at a feeding station, which has been put up to try and boost the population of griffin and Egyptian vultures. Because they're all reintroductions here, that feeding station is helping to improve the populations a lot. 